So a lot of narcissists love the ego boost of breaking up a marriage. And you'll often find that they will seek out people who have been in long-term marriages and potentially are unhappy. Um, there's some kind of illness or they're just generally not getting their needs met. And that is a really common in that narcissists will use to kind of get in there, love bomb that person, learn everything that they can about them, and then start to drive that wedge and try to be the person that breaks that marriage up. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissistic abuse educator and a narcissistic relationship recovery coach. Make sure you hit follow and you can book a session with me through the link in my bio. This is like the ultimate ego boost for a narcissist to be able to take someone from their partner. It also works for them because they don't have to try as hard and they don't have to be as present as if they were with someone who was single. And unfortunately, what often happens is that narcissist will love bomb that person, drive that wedge in the marriage and try to convince that person to leave their partner often only for them to, as soon as they've got you, as soon as they've got that person to leave their partner, got them in an incredibly vulnerable place to turn around and discard them. Because all it was ever about was the power trip and the supply that they were getting. Or they will do a temporary discard to get that person so desperate that they can then come back in like narcissists often do with their temporary discards to have made you, made that person lower their standards and not call them out, hold them accountable or ask for anything. Because at that point, they've gotten that person so vulnerable, so dependent that when they turn around and do that temporary discard, they create such a panic and such a state of desperation that when they come back, that person is just so relieved because of the trauma bond and grateful to have the narcissist back that from that point on, they just walk on eggshells, suppress themselves, don't call them out, don't hold them accountable. And that's where the relationship deteriorates into a complete nightmare. Let me know in the comments if you experienced this and also make sure you jump across and follow me on YouTube.